My name is Warren Kurd. I am the section leader of the cooling water systems for ITER. Our team is comprised of eight individuals from around the world. We are responsible for the design, procurement, installation, and commissioning of all of the cooling water systems for ITER. The internal of the tokamak vacuum vessel is comprised of a first wall blanket and diverter limiter. These are the elements that uh, will receive the heat from the plasma. The plasma uh, has a temperature of maybe 100 million degrees. The surface of the uh, first wall of blanket on the order of uh, uh, 200 degrees Celsius. So what we do in order to remove this heat is we pass water through these internal components of the vacuum vessel. You must provide a high pressure pump to transport water to these very unique components. The heat is transported uh, through the heat exchanger, which is a very conventional heat exchanger. It is uh, very, very similar to any other power plant. So the environment uh, receives the heat uh, through evaporation of the cooling water in the cooling tower basin. The uh, Eater cooling towers are being designed to remove 1,250 megawatts uh, in thermal power. This, uh, compared to a nuclear power plant, is about one-third of uh, what you might see at a nuclear power plant. The amount of water that uh, Eater will use uh, on an average basis in one year is uh, three uh, million cubic uh, meters per year. Uh, the, this represents about 0.2% of the flow of the Verdun River. The conduits have been placed uh, uh, such that the water can flow by gravity to the basin uh, for ITER. The basin uh, is a 20,000 cubic meter basin, quite large, and uh, the discharge uh, will also be by gravity. Well, this uh, ITER is an, uh, an experimental reactor, and certainly it's a shame to lose all of this heat. Couldn't we do something with it? Well, we plan to prove the technology so that in the future we transfer all of this heat to a turbine generator and generate electricity. ITER is not a facility that will be generating electricity. It's to prove the technology of fusion for large-scale reactors.